Yeah, so welcome to the first How To Friday session. Um, I, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's well. And, and firstly, thank you so much for your support and uh, and all the good things. Um, it, it's such a pleasure to have you here. And um, yeah, I thought we'd kind of make this sort of a pretty free flow open open chat. Um, there's there's some stuff I thought I could share with you that might might be interesting, might be helpful, um, and then kind of almost more importantly, what I, I would love to just hear from yourselves as well and, and get some ideas, because I think there's a million things that we want to do, but we never know which things to prioritize on. <laughs> so uh, we try and do as much as we can, but um, I think this, this session, we're at the moment opening only to people who are subscribers. Um, so out of the thousands of subscribers, thank you, you few for being brave enough to join the first session. Uh, I think this is always how these things happen. The first things are always tiny, and then as you grow, uh, you get more. So I really appreciate you for being uh, an early bird and an early adopter. And uh, and yeah, and again, also I adore your hat, Ron. So bravo for that too. Um, <laughs> and the birds in the background for joining. I think they count as audience members. Um, yeah. <laughs> But uh, the, I thought I'd start off with two really interesting things I learned. It's nothing really to do with uh, with 42 courses, but I just found them so interesting. I thought uh, I thought you might might enjoy it. I went to near where I live. There's this place called Burley House, which is a massive old estate. Um, they fill if you've ever watched The Crown, they film The Crown there and a bunch of other things. Um, and uh, I was chatting to, they have these amazing people around the house who tell you about all the art and all the furniture and stuff. And I learned two things which I never knew before. And so apologies if you already know this, but one thing I thought was, was brilliant was um, one of the ladies was saying that uh, if you have a big painting uh, with your face and your arms and your legs in it, it costs a lot more than a painting of just your face. And apparently that's where the origin of the name, this costs an arm and a leg comes from. So <laughs> the reason why it's called this costs an arm and a leg is because back in the day, if you had a portrait of your a painting of yourself with your arms and your legs, it cost a lot of money. And the yeah. second thing I thought was brilliant, which was another sort of, um, I think it's an etymology of the, the name was, um, have, have you all heard of, of the phrase getting plastered? You know, meaning getting drunk. Um, so apparently, Again, back in the day, they used to, uh, plasterers would uh, change the colour of the plaster slightly by pouring wine into it. And the plasterers would be able to drink whatever leftover wine uh, they didn't use for the plastering. So that's where the word getting plastered comes from. <laughs> so, yeah. Two totally random things, but uh, I just thought they were brilliant fun facts, maybe something you can share with uh, with your other better halves and friends over the weekend. Uh, <laughs> they'll go, oh, you're so interesting. How did you possibly know that? Um, <laughs> but uh, the, the reason why I wanted to, to do this now is with subscribers, we've, we've been growing really steadily over the last sort of, uh, well, the last few years and particularly with the subscription model, we only started that really about a year ago, a year ago but it's been growing quite steadily and we always felt that the, the, the thing that we're probably not so great at is the community side of things. So we wanted to try and do something to, to help bring people more together and also help you in whichever way you wanna be helped in. Um, just to give you some backgrounds, the things that we have tried and haven't really worked <laughs> is uh, we did try doing, um, you know, on websites, you have a little uh, chat session sometimes, like a little, uh, chat bar that pops up at the bottom. We actually designed a system so that you could um, chat to other peers and other colleagues uh, who were also learning at the same time. Um, and you could also ask us anything anytime. And my thinking was, how amazing is this? You know, if someone's stuck on a lesson, they can chat to us at any time. Um, and what ended up happening was uh, we had about 500 people from India asking for discounts on courses. Um, and, uh, uh, that was about it. Uh, and, then, and then the few people who did use it for learning, uh, they actually found it was more of a distraction. And it's this fine balance, I think, like you, in my head, I was always thinking on the web, on the learning page, it would be great if you could chat to other users. 
but actually the more we we experiment the more that we find that putting that into the actual courses distracts you from learning and then stops you from doing whatever it is that you're doing because then you just start chatting to someone else <laughs> and your your train of thought is completely broken um so then we were thinking maybe we the the, the two things which i think i want to do and and this is an open question of, of what what you all think would work better is one was um we were thinking of creating breakpoints at the end of chapters where you can have uh conversations or discussions in a, in a thread or in, a, in some kind of a forum about the lessons that you've just learned um or the second thing uh which is kind of what this is is i wonder whether if we do these kind of quite short quite easy half an hour things we do them maybe every other thursday every other friday to start with and if we need more we can increase the frequency uh where either ourselves or some of the people that we work with, so Rory Sutherland or Mike Viking or any of the, the, the lovely people that we're lucky enough to work with, come on and share some of the lessons that they've learned in a kind of open, very relaxed, chilled out manner. Um, I, do, in, do, we, do either of those kind of sound, sound, or do either of those sound good to you? And are, or is there something else that you've seen before or that you think that we should try? Because we're, we're very open to ideas. So please, anyone, anyone chime in. I'll stop talking. Go for it, Stuart. Um, I was gonna say, I, I find both of them actually potentially very interesting and, and, um, and both quite helpful. Um, I've used other e-learning platforms, sorry, um, no, where, no. They have, um, <laughs> where they have, where they have, forums and i always find that very interesting just to see other yeah. people's takes on on the courses just because somebody may have um had an idea or viewed or interpreted um, a learning point differently to me um, and the other thing is i think if you're saying half hour chat sessions with people um you know like yourselves like rory like tom um or richard shop yeah. then i think i think those will absolutely fly i mean who wouldn't i i, I would move heaven and earth for half an hour just sitting you know and i'd have my dictaphone going and probably my old tape machine from the early noughties so yeah i mean i think i think both of those sound fantastic chris okay no i mean that, that's that's easy enough to do and i think also the nice thing is asking for half an hour of someone's time actually isn't yeah. isn't a crazy crazy yeah. thing i think it, it's uh you can at least get a little bit of q a stuff done and i think our you know for 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 the types of people that learn with us it's it's probably makes sense as well um but yeah i mean did uh, did any anyone else have any any ideas or thoughts yeah i i would certainly agree with that second run one i mean i think your problem would be with some people like rory you probably wouldn't be able to shut them up after 25 <laughs> minutes and that would yeah. be so excellent <laughs> um as far as the first one is concerned what i was impressed with in the, the style of course work that, that you've you've given us is those points where you make us look at other people's answers yeah and that is that's instructive because we're not seeing that until we've made an answer ourselves right. which is great right. and I, I i class that as the sort of um current sort of uh, interaction that we can have with each other yeah. to spark ideas uh, whilst i agree with you you could take one or two ideas and discuss them absolutely further yeah um i think what you're doing is 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 really good there um the nearest sort of studying university style from about uh, 10 20 years ago um which is good because anything that gives you the variety um, yeah. is going to help your brain to to work it very well um and, and i think you've got it i think you've got it right in the course and i'm not sure whether you want to take that bit any further but certainly in formal sessions as you say whether they're monthly fortnightly weekly yeah. um, where you can get people to be relaxed and have a fireside chat yeah, um, I like, I'd certainly I like, be be interested in that. Yeah, I like that sort of the idea of a fireside chat, and um, and it's very interesting what you said about the we, in, internally we call them opinion based answers, which is uh, the ones where you have to select three other people's uh, thoughts yeah. or opinions. 
um, they're, they're, they seem to be really popular. We get actually get quite a few emails from people saying it was so interesting seeing what someone else thought about a problem. Um, so I'm so glad that you like it. And we've got a, a, a new, a newer, faster version of 42 courses. Um, it's everything's kind of the same, but we've just uh, tidied up the design. Um, and we should launch that. I think it's next next month, beginning of next month. Um, we're just doing the final reviews of it. But one of the things that we've added, and I think it will be there at launch, is on those opinion-based ones, at the moment, you can like them, but you can't have a conversation with the person. So we've created a chat reply uh, a button, which will allow you to have a threaded conversation under ideas that you find in the opinion-based answers. So if you- Oh, I think that could be, I think that definitely could be good because it's it's going to be one idea in a hundred that one of us is right. going to go, hey, we need to talk a bit more about that. Yeah. That's yeah. that's something I've not thought about before. Yeah. That that appeals. Yeah. And then my, my thinking was that it'll just send you, when you next log in, it will send you a little notification that will pop up and saying, it'll say, um, you know, hi, Ron, uh, JT's left a, a comment on your on your opinion and you click it and then it shows what the comment was and you can reply and have a chat and um it's uh i mean yeah anyway <laughs> it's we're uh we're, we're always we're always trying to find ways of making it more interesting but yeah but it's that fine balance of allowing space for discussion but not distracting people from the learning too much so um i think that's perfect so thank you so much um yeah alan did you did you have any ideas or jt any ideas well i must say i'm a rather lazy student so i haven't i haven't actually been catching up enough with the courses so i'll have to i'll have to think a little more about this before i can give you um responsible answers if you like <laughs> i love i'm I just love curious bookshelf. yeah thank you i love your bookshelf what have you got in what's the most interesting book you've been reading recently uh, <laughs> um, I, could, I, I don't know actually. Oh, I've got one here, which is uh, what's wrong with economics? Okay. Any idea? So, this, this is uh, <laughs> um, a primer for the perplexed. Oh, I've okay. only just started. Nice. It's a book that has just just come out actually. It's by Robert uh, Skidelsky. Hey, oh, brilliant. It's rather controversial. Nice. Well, uh, if you've got any uh, advice when you read it, please do drop me a mail and share. If, it, if it's any good, I'd love to love to have a read. It, it sounds uh, pretty provocative because it, it, it tries to, I think, uh, debunk some of the myths of mainstream economists uh, have right. created. Nice. Oh, that's brilliant. Have you read any of this stuff from, um, he's in a couple of our courses and he's such a nice chap. A guy called Professor Jules Goddard. Um, no, I haven't. So he's the, I think his normal job is um, he's the professor of marketing at the U, UCL. On, is it UCL? Right. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, uh, one of those things. Um, and uh, he's, got a, he's got some incredible books on, um, he, does, he does write a little bit about debunking common economic theory but then also um, he's got some really lovely books on basically sort of debunking and giving new ideas for um, management as well uh, which I thought was quite interesting. All right so let's look him up. R R the thing the reason why I suggested is um, I mean I love his book but Rory I was chatting to him the other day and he said that Rory said he reads one of Jules's books he reads every year um, and it's called um, uh, common sense, common nonsense. Uh, quite, oh, right. a fun, quite a fun title. Or uncommon sense, okay. common nonsense. Something like that. Got it somewhere. Uh, but yeah, can't remember. Anyway, sorry, I've just moved house. So I've, uh, <laughs> I've got like a small bookshelf here and then all my other books in boxes in my garage. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Have you, has anyone else been reading anything brilliant at the moment? Oh, oh. <laughs> I've just I've just started into um, uh, Sherlock Holmes, which mm -hmm. I've never read before. So I've got a whole audio book oh. series of Stephen Fry, oh, and it's nice. quite a revelation. Just getting getting it for the first time. 
I'm wow. getting it from uh, the voice of Stephen Fry. Um, yeah. It's a wonderful companion for a, a bit of exercise, a walk or a, a lie down one day. Did, did he read his... For a long drive. Yeah, did he read his recent book? Is it called Making History, Stephen Fry's book? It's a fiction book. No, I read... I read the one uh, about the um, Greek uh, mythology. Troy, which, uh, right. His name escapes me. Heroes. That, that, that was, Mythos, I think it Mythos, was. That yeah. was fascinating. Absolutely packed with Brilliant. information. It, 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 yeah. it basically shows the, the plot lines to all the Marvel movies. Um, <laughs> like, yes. yes. In fact, I think he has um, written uh, one more recently. Uh, called Troy. Um, yeah. I've only just sort of seen the name. Yeah, I don't know much about it. It's it's really good. I've read I read them all recently, and uh, I must say, yeah, I, I just uh, I, I was reading them on on drives and on walks and uh, or listening to them on on audiobook. It's just particularly when it's Stephen Fry, if it's him on an audiobook is brilliant. Him and Rory actually, I think anything that they write, if they've got it in an audiobook, I'll always get the audiobook <laughs> one. Actually, yes. there was one other one that was totally. Um, I don't know whether whether anyone's read it. Have you? Does anyone here like um, Malcolm Gladwell? Um, oh yes. So there's a, a lovely, tipping point and all that. Yeah. So there's a lovely book from him that he launched. Um, I think it was some time ago, but it was it's called The Bomber Mafia. Um, and oh, it's that's uh, what I come across. It his his side um, passion is World War Two and uh, and aeroplanes. Uh, he loves and particularly bomber aircraft. So um, he uh, he just ended up writing a, a, a book on these two very crazy characters uh, who were head of the U.S. Air Force Bomber Command during World War Two. Um, absolutely fascinating and amazing as an audio book because it was written first as an audio book, then as a as a as an actual written book um and it's yeah, loads of amazing stories and i i kind of want to tell you everything about it but then i'm i'm afraid that i'll ruin it for you so i'll leave it <laughs> yeah great great book if you want to listen to that and then uh the other ones which um there was a guy who actually we're trying to make a course with at the moment a chap called Aaron dignan um wrote a brilliant book called brave new work um, so he's a, I think he's an American consultant, um, but he sort of talks a bit, of, a lot about psychology um, and how that, and how that applies to to work. Um, really interesting and very just. He's a great storyteller, and it's it's uh, it's very easily digestible. Uh, so All right. in, incredible business book if you uh, if you want anything like that at the moment um and then oh gosh i mean i've got a million and one books i've been reading but yeah jt you haven't said anything you must have some amazing book that you've been uh, reading as well um uh, well at the moment i've just started reading um a book about the history of the philippines i come from mongolia but wow. uh i arrived in manila like a week ago for work so, so, and I'm also a newbie to the course. So at this moment, everything just seems really exciting. You know, everything is. Oh no, <laughs> there we go, sort of back. Writing answers and I was like, oh no, another answer. So like, there's actually someone who reads my <laughs> answers. So it was pretty cool. And then um, about this meeting, I was really curious because, you know, I've done some online trainings, but I've never had this live interaction with the, with the course. Oh, so people as well, and uh, you are all, you, you seem all brilliant as well. So, um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get to know uh, Manila and the Philippines better and self-isolating, so it's pretty boring over here. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, ho ho hopefully we can provide some uh, some, <laughs> some some fun for you uh, to, to do uh, in your spare time while you're sitting I'm, there. I'm having great fun with the course. <laughs> oh, it it, it's keeping me a great company in the evenings. So thank oh, you so fantastic. much. No, no, well, thank you. And yeah, we it's it we often get asked, uh, uh, is it really is it really you who's doing the the marking? 
um <laughs> and it really is is us <laughs> like um there's there's only about uh there's five of us that do the marking so it's really not a not a huge huge number of people and we only let the people who do the marking uh, have always been involved in making the courses as well so the oh. the idea being that they can spot something that's maybe wrong or maybe that needs help um i think the a lot of it is a lot of because it, i mean you would have seen this from the way that we answer the lessons or the, the questions that we ask we're we're trying to find things that aren't necessarily always just you know are you right or are you wrong but we're trying to find things that will stimulate you to think a little bit and have a go at, at putting down something e even if it's you know total nonsense um like what we're interested in is is to get get people thinking about giving it a go because I, I mean i think in life that's kind of how we grow the best is uh you know once once we do something we try it it's always very daunting at first like even this phone call is very daunting to me <laughs> um, but so thank you all for being so marvelous uh but um once you've done it once then it gets a little bit easier and you live and you learn and and, and i think with our courses we're trying to build people's confidence um and get them into that so uh yeah hopefully um that's it i cannot believe this is half an hour um it goes so fast um i'll uh i'll uh yeah it's really kind and look um i, I thank you so much all for joining um I, I really your support means the world to us and uh so thank you so so much um yeah there's there's in total our team is is only 10 people so we're very we're not a, not a big team uh we're oh we're... chris chris let me let us let me say from from this side of things i only came along because of nudge stock and i was going to do one course and i spoke to bren last week uh, had a chat with him for the first time so i'm starting to to know you guys <laughs> uh, but really thank you for all the effort that you've put in to get uh 42 courses so far because I think you've got, you're onto an absolute winner the way it's set up. You've hooked me, and I think you're going to hook thousands and tens of thousands of people in a similar sort of way. Once they've once they've tried it, they sort of it's it's got an addictive quality to it. So well done. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. Gives me a bit of impetus to be more diligent. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, well, well um, when, whenever uh, we we have the the big uh, the big party. Uh, you're all invited. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're, we've 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 uh, very brilliantly. The thing the thing which is exciting for us uh, that I think will will solidify our sort of financial future because at the moment I I started this with my life savings and mortgage my house. Uh, so we've we've not had any external investment. Um, yeah. We've we've always kind of made money from day one, but we've just not a huge amount of money so uh we've um we're looking forward to one day being able to breathe a little bit easier but um we've got some very amazing big corporates uh that have been asking to give training to to all of their people so i think you know my my feeling is one of those will probably go through at some stage soon and then that that'll kind of give us the freedom to be able to do a lot more things that we want to do i think i'm we, we don't want to create a million courses. Um, I, I think we want to try and keep it quite quite focused um, and quite small. Um, and I think that we could actually accomplish that with a small team and, and as well. Um, I, I think you know for, there are still a lot of very lazy people in the world um, who will never do learning even if it is <laughs> the best thing ever. Uh, Alan, you're here, so you're obviously not lazy. You've also got the world's biggest bookshelf behind you, so yes. um, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think um, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do sort of real world meetups and uh, you know do do sort of very fun events and things like that. So we've got a, a whole load of big big dreams and plans. But yeah, once again, thank you and thanks, Ron, for the kind words and Stuart and JT and Alan. I, really have the most wonderful weekend and thank you so 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 much but uh hope to see you again soon thank if you. you need anything let me know thank you yes. Chris. Thank you for everything. great meeting you all, you all. Cheers. great to meet everyone lots of love bye bye, bye. 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 bye.